Hi everyone, Guidance over here. Right now, I want to do some tarot readings for the solar eclipse that's gonna happen soon later. And I think this is, will be interesting because look at that. The Emperor comes out and the powerful card S comes out. So this is such a powerful begin that we have right now with this message right currently right now so let's get jump into it all right so um, right now maybe i'm gonna start from move this aside this is gonna become our key point all right there you are i'm gonna put it over there actually i wanna text one more card from this card from here from this oracle from the cosmic oracle Ooh, I saw one already oh masculine oh my god <laughs> you know what when the first time that I saw the emperor it's like oh my god that is such powerful man powerful energy that I sense over there and two from here oh interesting let me get let's see so this is gonna be a reading for uh, the energy of solar eclipse that's gonna be in the long run for the whole years how this message is gonna be for everyone oh my god it's one that talks a lot actually uh definitely that that i saw and i sent this this one that's really connect with me so i'm gonna pick that up i'm gonna put back the rest of the card and I'm gonna pick another one and exactly we got another one Ooh, the presence of love will always cast out of fear this is already start such with a powerful message that we have right now. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna put it over there. We can read just again another with the card. The card is flying. <laughs> See. So I think I'm gonna pick six cards first. From this, give me six card cards that we're gonna talk. What are we gonna see? So I'm gonna try to pick uh, the whole cards first before we enter into the reading to the messages. Got one. Two. Magicians. Okay. Oh. oh no. The stars. Maybe three more. Let's see. Feels like I, I, it's asking me to pick another three. So we have uh, totally nine right now. So I'm gonna put this aside for now. I'm gonna readjust the card right now. Let me see. So we got the emperor. I got the powerful. The masculine happiness is your birthright. 
I got the tat. Magicians. Interesting. Oh. Some feels like the star wanna be go there. Then we're gonna go with this way. Six six. That's why it's six. Six card. And it fits. Yes, it does. Okay. So one card down there, one card down there, and one card down there. Oh my god. Okay. So we got a lot of reversals, and the magician is the only one that is upright right now. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna put this aside. I feel like this is one to talk more about what's actually, but I'm gonna put that to the last. And so I got the emperor, and I got the powerful uh, uh, card over here. This is this like super, super, super uh, pack full of energy. That's what I feel when I got this two cards at the first time, and it's like. Damn, this is like like really powerful energy that's what's going on right now in here with this solar eclipse letters. Because uh recently I feel like this solar eclipse is more towards a downtime and then a reset and then a new cycle of energy. And I feel like this is gonna happen later after the solar eclipse done. Or maybe in the solar eclipse itself, when the solar eclipse start to the full things. That's when everything turning on. You know, like building up and heating up, warming up, you know, until it's full, goes into the full throttles, you know, warming up for the full throttles. That's why I got this Emperor and also powerful cards together, which means the power is really, really big letters after the solar eclipse. So what is this about the solar, the absolute that is reversed right now, and also the masculine that is, that is in here? It's the energy of the masculine, of course, because it's the emperor, you know. And that emperor itself, it feels like it goes into the transformationals. It's gonna be like that because it's so powerful and it's packed of full of energy letters. With the dead card over here, and with the magicians and also the stars that is reverse too over here, it feels like uh how is it it's like there's a lot of people as a magicians because I imagine this magician in here over over here it's like a people that's a magicians. Either you re realizing it, either you are realizing it, not realizing it. It's like a manifest manifestations a manifestor people out there that is that is gonna be uh full of energy full of recharge of energy a new cycles a new transformational energy that's gonna be happens and they and they're gonna receive that energy inside of them and that's when things happening including the bad including the transformational including the about the dials because i get i got the dead card that is reverse it feels like there's a, gonna be the majority of people that's gonna be have the denials of these transformations uh energy that's going on in them this absolute if you see this this is like look at that it's like the energy is going into one spot from all directions from all source you know and it's full of colors but somehow people not accepting or receiving well either like they kind of like skepticals or maybe uh yeah because i'm sensing about skepticals uh perspective like they don't believe this kind of energy energy even though it's happening and then they witnessing it and they feel it like like literally feels it like 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 towards what happens in their life there's gonna be a lot of people's like that letters but it cannot hold out because the power is so packed it's full of energy it's still happening 
no matter how they're gonna reject it no matter how they're gonna be denial about it so that's why this card one only one in this in this corner is actually reverse between like it's not receiving well with a lot of majority of the people this is i'm talking about the majority all right because there are some people that's that's actually awakened that's why the magician is rise up upright uh that's magician it tells me like there are some people actually yes they will realizing they are awakened they are aware actually towards what's going on in their life and who they are and knowing well let's say they're kind of like early bird early bird people that's actually they know what they're doing and they know they are a magician they are now what is spirituality what is energy they understand what is mind mind works how to do the law of attractions law of manifestation and a lot of odd other 12 laws because there's a 12 laws in this world that's you know doing it in their own ways in their in their own uh safe space and safe comfortable self of moment of self understanding and self learning during the process they will learn through that uh, that confidence and that yes they are confidence yes they are they are but but it doesn't mean that they they know any they know everything they learn through that confidence so i guess for those people that's kind of listening to this if you feels like you are kind of like denial or maybe you kind of like not believing towards what's going on with your life or you're kind of skeptical toward your life like you don't believe like what's going on even though you're feeling it you witness it even with these messages right now if you kind of like uh feels like resonates well with this and you're kind of like unbelievable actually this is part of the process that you need to awaken right now so <laughs> so yeah everything's in this world in this universe will have a meaning no matter how small it is i'm just gonna tell you that and actually this 2024 not only because of the solar eclipse i already know these messages that's actually 2024 will be such powerful year for both sides including the darkness and the lights too so and there will be a lot of transformationals from both sides what i mean by darkness and the light it doesn't mean like those people are in the in the very bad situation all right because there are some people like kind of like having a journey of shadow because they need to go through that pilgrimage for them to learn something like going to the dark going to to the shadow part for them to learn of what is the darkness what is uh karma what is karmi you know and what is the world what is material in that in that way and what is power and what is stagnant or subtle or slow that one too and what is cold because uh apparently the darkness energy is actually um coldness well this is interestingly this is like a uh, masculine energy like why they need to go there into the darkness if we're talking about that right now because it's uniquely when i'm talking about about this darkness and i got this i just remember that is we have masculine energy and powerful energy and masculine figure over here like a male emperor energy because they need to learn how to be soft they need to learn how to be uh slowing themselves being patient because uh the darkness energy is actually dormant it's a dormant energy silent and quiet and cold because there's no light inside of it right like it's well there's a light like little, really little inside of it if we if we goes into the reference of yin and yang but if we're talking only about the darkness it's kind of like a majority of darkness right so that's what happened they're kind of like going through that pilgrimage for them to 
to learn how to feel to feel patiently to feel subtle and to feel soft to soften them up to be flexible them up that's what happened to them and because the masculine energy it's such a powerful and active energy and full of lights when it's come to lights it is active everyone it's like the sun the sun is full of photon that is really really bright and is so active that it could be so uh, harmful to our skin all right and basically that's the theory behind it uh, If there are some, I know like some of you gonna be confused about what I'm talking about between the darkness and lights because I just discovered it. I discovered this through the understanding about yin and yang and also the masculine and the feminine energy. And apparently, that they are not exactly what I thought in the beginning. And I, I understand that the masculine energy is apparently the light, and the darkness energy is actually the feminine. The darkness doesn't mean it's bad; it's just being passive. Uh, cold, soft, you know, and dormant, chill. That's why you need both sides for you to have a balance in this world. Because if you only have the darkness, you're gonna become stiff, cold, dormant, no moving, no moving at all. You need the lightness inside of you. That's why the yin and yang it has the light inside of you. Because it needs that for it to, you know, keep moving, but while also still still being passive. It's like slow move, but it's going there. You know, it's moving at least. Kind of that concept situation. If we come into to making this into conceptual things, because why you need to go through this? I'm gonna coming back to those people that's actually. Uh, having a tough time that's gonna facing this solar eclipse. This is gonna be major. A lot of people is gonna voice facing through this transformationals. That's really rough actually, because it's gonna hit their uh, self esteem, their self confidence. All right, and the way that you exp they they express themselves, their energy, their aura, and their Compassionate, the love is gonna testing them out, and I got the seven of coin, which is like, it's kind of like a, a conflict inside of their hearts. It's like an argument and a discussions and a meeting inside of them, but it turns into conflicts, into arguments, like really heat things up and burn, you know, because we have this fire over here. And it's burning so 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 hot, you know, because they have some conflicts of misunderstanding, understanding uh, a value that is not quite fits into the reality, value into not quite fits into the uh, the thing that they witness to. So that's what happened to them. And also, it's for those people that's losing hope or faith, or maybe they not believing into the higher being and higher energy, a higher frequency. You know, like like they just believe human, you know, or maybe toward materialistic world or really materialistic people. Everything is gonna going back into the magicians, into manifesting because we have a free will. We have a lot of free wills actually. You don't know how how free we are. That's we given by the gods himself, by the universe itself. Like how free that we can do in, in this world. Of course, yes, there's gonna be some restriction because they can uh, uh, like manage the the balance of the world. You know, to to keep the peace, to keep the the things. Keep going and progress as how it's supposed to be, because yeah, you know, human like how things are with there, with us, especially in this today age, and yeah, because we have a lot of free will, we and by that we are become the manifester too. We have the energy of magicians. We can create anything, including the bad one, including the uh, the bad impact and stuff like that. 
and this energy of the solar eclipse especially in this 2024 because the solar eclipse it feels like it's not only in this month or, or all on that solar eclipse because i got the message about solar eclipse that is gonna keep going for the people toward the whole years so for those people that are uh, so confused or maybe listening to this on different months or or after long time you know because this reading is timeless uh from the solar eclipse that we we that we have right now uh it's on april right now and if you are watching me on the futures this is still goes on for you all right because this is a timeless reading and i feel like this energy will goes on until at least until the end of the year which means like 2000 december of 2024 and if you are uh, kind of like still in this energy and for for you guys that later on in the futures because the energy is how is it it's the solar eclipse it will goes on until the next month the next month and the next month until the last december of the thousand and two thousand and twenty four so yeah and then why you need to facing this why you need to deal with this because we are gonna entering into uh the new energy the new transformationals that's really fast so it will be harsh it will be high energy and for those people that is not cannot surviving this they will losing they will lose into the natural selections <clears throat> and for those people that's already in the lights and follow toward the their intuitions and knowing what they're doing they will be surviving so this is kind of like a selection of uh, of nature that's getting higher and getting tougher by the time it's the nature part all right it's kind of like it's time for for it to release don't think this is like why they need to release this and blah 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 no they actually i was like they they feels it feels like they've been holding this for quite a long time now they cannot hold it now it's like it's time we cannot hold it anymore it needs to be released you know it's part of the nature it's part of the 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 balancings of the system that it needs to be to to happen actually and why you need to go through this rough time that you're gonna have for the majority of you is because you need to realize about the happiness and about the presence of love will always cast out fear these two card is like you need to be brave you need to be believe into yourself and to the love and, and the compassion that's, that you have inside of you is this thing that's happening into your life even though it's rough maybe it's tough for you and it's really for some of you all right some the majority i feel like it's more like a majority it's for you actually it's for you to survive later in the futures because it's not gonna be easy later on in the futures it's not uh how it? it's gonna be changed it's gonna be totally different how, the way that we live and that presence of love will always cast out fear because it's asking you to in tune with the love even though thing is not as best as you thought like you need to forgiving you need to to apologize you need to surrender into the power of higher than you and you need to remember that you you also need some help you cannot do this alone and that happiness is my birthright is exactly how the word is this card is like talking to you about the happiness that is actually it's inside of you you have that happiness maybe you're just missing it or maybe you're just losing it you forget it that actually you have the happiness maybe some of you gonna like searching for something and holding on into the things that is actually not the real happiness maybe it was just stagnant the emptiness 
it's like it feels it like it's like this like the like you've been going through a lot and much worse than than what you have right now and even this stagnations and this dormant situationship that you have it feels like it's already ha a happiness for you but actually it's not it's actually just a calmness that is nothing is that is em that is empty or maybe that is stagnant all right that is uh dormant not going anywhere you know so maybe you've been holding that for too long you've been holding that no it could be for people those those people that's actually holding that too long or maybe already uh you just get that recently but you need to move on actually because it's already done you know it's already no more you need to keep moving and that's what happened to you guys if you feels like this yeah it feels sucks rough especially on the march before last month it's because that's how things are the energy is transformational literally transformational super transformational for what it's for you to prepare a letter on the april on a solar eclipse and yeah and because it's so powerful with that energy of solar eclipse that is it could be really impact into your life so well i'm gonna open up these three cards all right let's see what this card gonna talk about oh. we got the empress oh my god Ooh, surprisingly oh my god i got the emperor and now we're closing with the empress and also ace of sword what apparently the lights is over here i was questioning like why the, the 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 card is a bit dark when you know like that and apparently the light is there there we got the empress the softness in here the ace of swords the feminine i, I say like the feminine is kind of like uh as like related toward the yin right the darkness like as like i told to you the darkness is not always the always bad thing if you know how to use it if you know how to to control it it will be useful for you to rest for you to calm down for you to cool it down you know you cannot get all the likes again and again and again right like you like you under the suns all the time oh my god you're gonna have the sun burn you know because it's harmful uh so that's why the empress needs needed this feminine energy the softness you know the dormant the stillness which is right now people's kind of like having some misunderstanding about the darkness about the feminine energy and it's also they kind of like switching up like feminine is actually the light and also uh masculine or the the emperor is kind of like the darkness kind of like that situation of, of that understanding i'm not sure if you guys thinking it that way because in the past i was thinking it that way and apparently it's not it's the other way you know and yeah 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 because the six of swords and the empress and the ace of swords it tells me like oh my god this swords words damn the six of swords is actually talking about balance but the balance in the loving way the stability the buoyance you know like like it's, it's just in the sea you know like buoyance in the sea with her boat you know and then you know and yeah she's trying to control the balance and then keep going and being patient and learning by doing the empress's empress energy is also actually talking about creativity in them of like nurturing mm, creations creating uh, related to what materialistic because when we're talking about darkness it's, uh, it's gonna related to what uh, material something is formed something is like it has a shape you know and that's the empress and yeah and the ace of is talking about clarity of mental so the lights over here is like telling me like you need to going 
go through these transformations, this hitting heart, this hardshipness, this uh, tough love. I feel like it's more like tough love because it's such a powerful energy. It's gonna be rough, 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 rough energy. For you to reach this point, to the calmness, the tranquility, the balance between the Empress and the Emperor, for you to balancing out your masculinity energy that is probably too much this one yeah the empress is like kind of like balancing this out you know balancing this for you to see uh the other sides it's like this when you learn the darkness you will learn the lights and if you learn the light, you will learn the darkness and it's gonna go backward and vice versa, back and forth and back and forth. It's always gonna be like that. And they cannot be separated. And once you find the balance and find the middle, find the, the equilibrium, the tranquility, the temperance, that's when the things become clear, clear, clear clarity. And stable to for you to keep moving forwards. It also means like you are in tune with the love itself. Because I also sensing about fear that's going on with these people too. Because they have fear about the future, they fear about what's gonna happen because of the the, the transformationals, the deaths over here that's going on over here. This is de the dead cards. Uh, actually, it's because of the reflection of the the lights you cannot see them clearly so yeah that's what happened so so this is gonna be a powerful pace that's gonna happen in this year especially after the solar eclipse no no exceptional for me too because i've been going through that lately it's just like I'm much more earlier before the solar eclipse and I feel like later on the solar eclipse I just need to write the uh, the the things and the, and the rest that I need to to produce and keep going basically I'm also having going through this the same thing too not only you not only everyone I think even though for those people that's le learning are they realizing about themselves they still keep going with this tough energy though because it was so powerful even including me me myself is actually not exceptional it's gonna happen with everyone so that's what happened this rough energy is for everyone not only for those people that is actually you know that is quite uh, unfortunate over here so that's how it is uh, my reading is gonna be uh, genuine. I'm 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 an intuitive reader, by the way, everyone. That just know me right now. Uh, I'm also accepting for private reading too. I'm also uh, doing some uh, free reading on the stream. I'm streaming on Twitch, so you you guys can check out check that out on the descriptions or my or my channel page. To check the other content too so yeah i'll see you guys again on the next streams and don't forget to like subscribe and comment below what do you think guys bye